Hey guys, and welcome to Breaking Bread. And today we're in front of St. Joan of Arc Church in Jackson Heights, Queens, and we're going to take a little tour of the neighborhood and show you some great places to grab a bite to eat. There are so many great places to eat in this neighborhood, and I guess one of the reasons is that there are people here from all over the world. This area is known as the melting pot of Queens. We have Little India right next to the church. We have a great Asian population, and we also have a lot of old-time Irish, Italian, and Polish people living in this neighborhood for many years. And that's why there's so many places to choose from. Right, and it's really interesting. So we came up with a bunch of choices that reflect that diversity too. So let's take a look. Jackson Heights is known for its diverse Latin community, and we're at a place that celebrates that diversity. Here at Novo, they've designed their menu by combining a bunch of different Latin flavors for a taste that you haven't had yet. I'm here with Edwin, the owner of Novo. You guys are kind of new. How long have you been here? Two years and a half. So why did you decide to create a menu that's Latin fusion as opposed to like multiple dishes from different places? The reason why we decided that we wanted to do a Latin fusion is because we um, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Okay. Um, combine different spices to get an exotic flavor. Okay. And um, talking about when I say exotic flavor, I'm talking about combining spices from Mediterranean countries, okay. Italian country, um, Italy, or Asian, and combining that with Latin spices as far as Dominican Republic, Cuban, or even Peruvian food, Peruvian spices, and mixing them together and getting one flavor that's like just not one simple flavor. Okay, so again, where did that idea come from? You just had, you wanted to do something different something and new, new, different, little exotic, exotic, um, okay. just Take it up a notch, the way Emerald says it, right? Nice, take it up a notch. Okay, fair enough. Right. So, what are some of your most popular dishes? All right, we do have um, one thing called a filet mignon, okay. which is in a au poivre, au poivre which is um, crusted in pepper. Okay. Then what okay. we do is um, we cook it in, we, the sauce that we make is in its own juice. Okay. And then we flambe it with cognac. Nice. Okay. And um, then we use, uh, we serve that with garlic mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. You're going to make that for us a Yes, we are going to make that okay. for you guys tonight. Um, also, why don't you give me an, a classic dish that gives an example of the fusion of multiple different flavors? Another dish that we might prepare for you guys tonight okay. is a mofongo de camarones. Okay. The shrimps are sa sautéed okay. with seafood seasoning. Seafood seasoning. Uh, a little bit of seafood um, broth. Okay. And then we have um, paprika. Okay. We also have a little bit of rosemary, thyme. Okay, then, different. Yeah, a little bit different. Different, okay. The and Mediterranean? Big, well, a little, little bit. Little Italian, got little you. Italian. I just see all the okay. different things exactly. coming in there. Okay. We just can't uh, leave the rosemary and the thyme. Thyme okay. and rosemary always works well with each other. Right. Um, and then the garlic. And then okay. we sprinkle a little bit of um, parsley on top of the garlic. It gives it a little different twist as well. Okay. Sounds good. Now, I think I get the concept. I think okay. I get the fusion of everything. I'm seeing rosemary, parsley, garlic, a little bit of everything from everywhere. So why don't we get to the kitchen and let's get cooking then. Absolutely. Let's get a first-hand look at everything he's talking about. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're in the kitchen, and Edwin is first going to make me the filet mignon pepper. Yes, the au poivre, au which poivre. is a French word for pepper. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to cook this in uh, its own juice, and we're going to flambe it. Make the sauce flambe with cognac today. With cognac. And it's gonna be served with garlic mashed potatoes. And um, here we go. All right, what's first step? All right, first step, we're gonna uh, season it with a little bit of uh, salt. Right okay. Then uh, we're gonna use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you using the olive oil now for? To like make the pepper what's, stick? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So crust the pepper. So pepper it on, on both sides. We encrust it on both sides. Yeah, we encrust it on both okay. sides. Okay, I hear the sizzling. Now, while this is going on, we're gonna leave this for a couple of minutes while it starts uh, burning on both sides. 
We're gonna sear this on both sides. Yes, we're gonna sear this on both sides. Sear this on both sides. Then it's gonna go into the oven. Then it goes into the oven. What is being prepared over there by Anthony? What we're doing, we're doing the mofongo, which is fried plantain. Okay. And we're cooking them extra virgin olive oil as well. The plantains are frying. We've got the filet mignon searing on both sides. Yes. Okay, right. this is now, uh, ready to go into the oven. We're taking the filet mignon that's been seared on both sides out of the pan and putting it on a, another like baking dish to put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So what are you working on getting uh, now? We're doing um, the seasoning. Actually, we're going to prepare the, the shrimp, actually, the shrimp sauce and right. saute the shrimps. So he's chopping up peppers. Is this for the, the shrimp as well? Peppers is for the sauce also. For the sauce also, okay. The plantains are coming out. Nice. <coughs> Right, shrimp is in the pan. Got it. Yeah, the seafood broth is gonna come in. We're gonna let that boil for a little bit. The shrimp is gonna cook very, very quickly right now. As um, you see, the plantains, as this cooks, the plantains are gonna get smashed. So we've got the plantains are getting mashed up. They'll be going back inside so the olive oil right so they're twice fried. This is a little bit of tomato sauce right here. A little tomato that, um, sauce. So it can mix a little bit well, giving a, a, a better taste to it. So is that the secret to really good mashed potatoes? Well, the butter and the cream? A, yeah, butter, uh, butter cream sauce with um, garlic. Garlic is always good. And make sure that the garlic is well done, right? Because there's nothing like garlic that's not cooked yeah, before exactly. they put it in the mashed gotta, potatoes. Yeah, it's not right. good. Yeah, absolutely it's right. Good. So we mix that up a little bit. We still got the shrimp over here. So the shrimp going. Um, one thing about our kitchen is that all our cooks taste everything we do. Okay. Because if it doesn't taste right, we can't not send it out. Not putting it out. I don't put it out. This more is a. Um, this more. This is a garlic <laughs> more. A little more condensed. We have a uh, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and a couple of noble secret seasoning in there. Okay. And we're gonna put a little bit in the mofongo. A little bit of salt. Salt. A little bit of black pepper. So we're mashing up the bananas for the mufungo. The mufungo, yes, nice. absolutely. <laughs> now it came to a boil that we wanted. We're just gonna turn that off. So now, take this over. Okay. There we go. Now, while this is there, we are going to put two slices of tomatoes on there. We're going to finish actually the plate of the shrimp of Okay. This looks really nice. The presentation is just beautiful. So we're pouring the reduction of the shrimp with the seafood broth and the onion exactly. and the bell peppers, red pepper, green pepper, all on top. So we just make enough sauce for one dish. Okay. Nothing sits around here then. Everything exactly. is fresh, made to order. Everything is made to order. Okay. Okay, hey. so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the plate. Mm-hmm. Mm, parsley. Okay, this is our shrimp mofongo. Shrimp mofongo. And it looks really good. It smells even better. I don't know, Can't wait to taste it. it, but still filet mignon we have to finish, so I'm gonna set this aside. Right. Okay, you might want to set back because we're gonna flambe the sauce. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Come on. It's burning off the liquor from the cognac. Exactly. Right. And, and now, now we're putting put some. A little bit of heavy cream. A little heavy cream. And we're making sauce. Right. The sauce has to be um. You can't let it boil too much because it gets reduced too quickly. Okay. And already now, in that pan was the peppers from when we originally seared the filet mignon. Beautiful. All right. Okay. We have our filet mignon with our pepper garlic Pepper encrusted. And pepper encrusted. Pepper encrusted filet, filet mignon. mignon with the cream sauce on top and garlic mashed potatoes, which I perfectly fashioned in this circle for you guys. So you know what time it is. Everything is ready. It's time to eat. So let's go break bread. Here at Novo, you'll get Latin fusion without a doubt, plus a few surprises. 
But don't let the cool, young, hip vibe fool you. They take their food very seriously here. So you gotta write down this information and come and get some of this for yourself. I'm gonna break bread.